Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about how you can not only save money on taxes via your health savings account, but to also use it as a cashback stacking strategy with your credit card. According to CNBC, an article back in 2018, they talked about how the average American spends about $5,000 each year on health care. Based on this average, if you were able to get at least 2% cash back by paying for your medical expenses using a cash back credit card combined with a cash back stacking strategy, then you could earn at least $100 per year in cash back just by using your credit card to first pay for your medical expense and then using your HSA to reimburse yourself in order to pay that credit card off. And not only can you earn over $100 in cash back each year, you can also save on taxes by putting money into your HSA account before it's actually taxed because health savings accounts are tax deductible accounts. Now, if you didn't put money into your HSA and you just took that money as your normal paycheck, the lowest tax bracket for federal income tax is 10%. So you know that at least 10% of the money that you're gonna earn is gonna be taxed. And that's of course not considering any tax deductions, any tax credits, and also not considering state income tax depending on what state you live in. But based on that 10%, then we know that in order to actually receive $5,000, in your bank account from your paycheck, you need to make at least $5,555 in order to make $5,000 in your actual paycheck. And so if you're a person that spends $5,000 or more on medical expenses each year, and or maybe not even every year, but maybe there's one year where you may have a surgery or you may have some injury or you get sick and you have to go to the doctor more often than you normally would, then being able to reimburse your payments from your health savings account and then also adding that cashback stacking strategy into it, that could actually make you money and save you a lot of money on taxes. And so what type of expenses can you reimburse yourself for via your health savings account? And so the most obvious ones would be when you go to the doctor, whatever your deductible or copay, when you make that payment, that is something that's reimbursable. If you have a procedure or a surgery, the actual medical attention that you're receiving, whatever bill that you pay for those services, those are reimbursable. And one medical expense that you can be reimbursed for as well is if you happen to hurt your finger when you're hitting the like button for this video. So make sure you hit the like button now. And then you can also add if you wear glasses and you go to an optometrist or ophthalmologist, anything vision related, whether it's an exam, whether it's buying eyeglasses, those are also reimbursable. And then if you go to the dentist, when you get teeth cleaning, if you're charged for that, if you go to an orthodontist and you get braces or Invisalign, and then of course, if you go to the doctor and you're prescribed some medicine and you have to pay money for those pills or whatever uh, you're buying from the pharmacy, those things are reimbursable as well. And not only that, but due to the CARES Act, due to the coronavirus pandemic that happened this year in 2020, the CARES Act has brought back over-the-counter drugs as being a reimbursable expense. And so if you just needed to buy aspirin or some type of allergy medicine, things of that nature that you can buy over-the-counter and don't require a prescription, those are also now reimbursable again. And I'll go into more details on that later because that is something that you can take advantage of by using a cashback stacking strategy to add more cashback on some of these purchases that are reimbursable via your HSA. And one more option that was added, and this is actually temporary for 2020, we don't know if this will be extended uh, for further years as being a reimbursable expense, and that is telemedicine. Due to the coronavirus, of course, people don't want to go into the doctor or they may not be able to go into an office. And so allowing people to use telemedicine services to speak to a nurse or to speak to a doctor uh, via Zoom or some other video platform, those expenses that you would have by using telemedicine, those are reimbursable for 2020. And so if you've had to use uh, some telemedicine service, make sure that you reimburse yourself or make sure you save those receipts. That way you can reimburse yourself later down the line. And if you use the credit card to pay for those, and previously did not know that they were reimbursable, now you know, and you may still have time in 2020 to actually put money in a health savings account and then reimburse yourself down the road. And so now let's get into more details about the actual cashback stacking strategy. And so if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I do reviews of cashback apps, uh, credit cards, and how you can use a combination of cashback credit cards 
and cashback apps to increase the amount of cashback that you earn on every purchase. And so the first part of any cashback stacking strategy is of course the cashback credit card. And so in order to maximize, especially on the medical expenses that typically, these aren't expenses that you may be able to stack or get multiple or earn cash back in multiple ways like you would with some of the things that I'm gonna talk about later. And so the credit card that you use is very important to get that maximum floor of the amount of cash back that you receive. And so I'm gonna talk about two of the cards that I personally use and how those help me get the maximum cash back with a cash back stacking strategy related to the health savings account. Now the first card I use is the City Double Cash Card. With the City Double Cash Card, on every purchase that you make, you earn 2% cash back. So it doesn't matter what category it is, whether you're buying food, whether you're buying clothes, whether you're paying for a medical procedure, all of those expenses, when you use your City Double Cash Card, you'll earn 2% cash back. And so when you first make your purchase, you will immediately receive that 1% cash back. And then once you pay off your credit card, you'll get that additional 1%, making it a total of 2% cash back. And so by reimbursing yourself using your health savings account, as soon as you reimburse yourself, you use that money to actually pay off your credit card and then you get that additional 1%, giving you a total of 2% cash back. Now the second card that I use is the Costco Visa City Card. Now with the Costco card, you of course need to have a membership with Costco, but with their credit card, every purchase that you make at Costco, you earn 2% cash back. But also by being an executive member of Costco, you get an additional 2% cash back on all purchases made at Costco or online with Costco. And so that's 4% cash back on every purchase that you make when you go to Costco. And so how does this relate to your health savings account? Costco has a pharmacy. And so if you take your prescriptions to the Costco pharmacy and you make those payments in Costco, then you're gonna earn 4% cash back because you're getting 2% on the actual credit card and then you're getting an additional 2% if you have an executive membership, giving you a total of 4% cash back on all of your pharmaceutical purchases. But not only that, if there are any over-the-counter drugs like aspirin or allergy medicine, any of those over-the-counter OTC drugs, then those will actually earn you 4% cash back as well. And so 4%, that's a lot of cash back, especially if you're going to the pharmacy and you have some medicine that you have to take on a regular basis every month or you get a refill every three months or whatever the case may be. That could be very beneficial and could be a significant amount of cash back over 10, 20, or 30 years. And so the next step in any cashback stacking strategy would be to use a cashback app. Now with cashback apps, what you would do is link your cashback credit card or you can link a debit card or a checking account. And any purchases that you make using that credit card would be connected to that cashback app. And so there may be either specific categories or maybe specific stores or maybe specific products depending on the app that you can actually earn cash back on by connecting your cash back credit card to that cash back app. And now that increases the amount of cash back that you earn on your individual purchases. And so since many of these cash back apps, they require you to spend money at a specific store in order to earn boosted amount of cash back. And so stores like Costco, Sam's Club, CVS and Walgreens, which are pharmacies, those are places that you can earn cash back on on many of these cash back apps. So as an example, the Pay app, PEI, this app allows you to earn cash back at both Walgreens and CVS on all of your purchases. And so when you link your cash back credit card to the Pay app, anytime you spend money at a Walgreens or CVS, you'll automatically earn half a percent cash back. Another example is the Bits of Stock app, which I like to call a stockback app because all of the cash back that you earn when you use the Bits of Stock app with your cash back credit card, it is actually used to purchase stock. And so if you go to Walgreens, which is one of the stores available in their app, you'll get half a percent cash back for every purchase at Walgreens. And then the cash back that you earn at Walgreens is used to actually buy stock into Walgreens. And so not only are you earning cash back on every purchase, but you're actually earning stock. And so that stock can also grow over time and it can also pay dividends as well. And then one of the highest amounts of cash back that you can earn that I'm aware of is through the Flues app. With the Flues app, as soon as you sign up using a referral link just like mine, use code AJ Mobile Money, you will get three vouchers to where you actually earn 35% cash back on up to a $10 purchase. Now anything over $10, you will get whatever the normal cash back is for the specific store that you shop at. 
and they have a specific set of stores that are included for you to earn that 35% cash back. And one of those stores is CVS. And so if you were to pay for your prescription or any over-the-counter drugs when you go to CVS, as soon as you sign up, you'll have those three vouchers. And so if you needed to make three purchases, you can make a purchase of $10. Let's say it's aspirin or allergy medicine. $10 of that purchase will get you $3.50 cash back. And then any amount over that $10, you would earn the normal 1% cash back that you receive via the Flues app for shopping at Walgreens. And that's in addition to whatever cash back that you would earn, depending on the credit card that you connected to the Flues app. And so one thing that's a little bit different about the Flues app compared to the average cash back app is that you actually use a gift card. So essentially you go into the Flues app, you choose CVS, and then you buy a virtual gift card that you can then use when you make purchases at CVS. And so while if you have a credit card that gives you specific cash back at a pharmacy or a grocery store, it wouldn't recognize that because the transaction that you're gonna have is gonna show flus on your credit card. But if you use one of the three vouchers that you receive by using my referral link, then you'll still get that 35% cash back immediately. And also you can get additional vouchers once you've signed up and you invite new people to the app, then you can earn 35% cash back vouchers for every person that you invite to the app. And so this is something that you could use over a long period of time if you're continuously adding people to the app, then you'll continuously get those 35% vouchers as long as they continue to give that as an incentive to invite people. But you can also earn cash back on the purchases from the people that you invite. And so if they're using this same strategy and they're inviting people and they're earning cash back, you can earn a percentage of their purchase, which is given to cash back to you as well. And so there are so many different ways that you can earn cash back, so many different apps that you can use. But when you also add that with your health savings account, where you're saving money on taxes by putting money in your health savings account, you're using your credit card to pay back those medical expenses that you're ultimately going to have at some point, whether it's maybe you don't spend $5,000 a year on medical expenses, but if you're a person that does spend that amount or maybe spends more and you can't afford to reimburse yourself through your health savings account 30 years later, you can actually do that today by using your credit card and then immediately reimbursing yourself to pay off that credit card. And so if you happen to have a cashback credit card where you can actually get bonus categories at CVS or Walgreens or other pharmacies and grocery stores. That's another way that you can boost your cash back automatically and not only increase your base amount of cash back, whether it's a 1% cash back credit card, one and a half or 2% with a combination of your cash back credit card and a cash back app, everyone should at least be able to get an average of 2% or more using this cash back stacking strategy and then reimbursing yourself through your health savings account to pay off that credit card. And so using the examples I provided, at a bare minimum, you can earn 2% cash back every year on all of your medical expenses, up to as high as 35 or more percent if you use the Flues app to earn cash back for over-the-counter drugs or for actual prescription drugs at CVS. I would recommend that when you do make these purchases that you make them separately. And so if you need to buy anything else, like if you go to CVS, you can pretty much buy anything. You can buy food, you can buy toys, Make sure you keep the reimbursable health savings account expenses on a separate receipt. That just makes it easier when you need to reimburse yourself. Now, while the ultimate plan with a health savings account would be to actually invest 100% of the dollars that you put into your health savings account, but if you can't afford to wait 20 or 30 years to allow your money to grow in the stock market and then reimburse yourself down the road, then this is a great way to earn cash back and earn a little extra money on the expenses that you already have every year that you normally would have just paid off with the debit card that you receive via health savings account. And so do you currently use your health savings account debit card to pay for your medical expenses? And if you do, after seeing this video, is this something that you would like to try to connect a cashback stacking strategy with your health savings account? And so you're still using your health savings account dollars to pay for your medical expenses, but you're just adding one more step into the tool to actually earn hundreds of dollars worth of cashback potentially every year just by connecting this cashback stacking strategy. And so let us know what you think about this strategy in the comments below. 
any specific credit cards that you use that allow you to earn a boosted amount of cash back other than the normal one to two percent that most cash back credit cards provide and then also if you'd rather use this strategy now or just reimburse yourself down the road that way you can allow your money to grow over 10 20 30 years earning two to three hundred or even a thousand percent in gains by putting that money into the stock market versus paying for those medical expenses now and then not allowing that money to grow in your health savings account all right thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i really appreciate it if you're not a current member of the mobile money nation all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i create a video